Hey guys, what's going on? It's Titan here once again and welcome back to a different kind of video here today on the channel. Now I have a tutorial slash fix for the two major problems that players are currently facing on Modern Warfare Remastered which are getting stuck on the loading screen slash not being able to join multiplayer maps or lobbies and the second one is having FPS drops slash stuttering in the game. Now I will talk about other potential fixes that might work for you if this method doesn't however this should work for every person so stay all the way until the end and listen because there's more than one thing that you will need to do with all this said I don't know if this method will work on consoles because this is mainly for PC but I'm sure it's worth a try now I'm not going to waste any more time and I will straight jump into these fixes however first if this did help you please share this video with all your friends and people who are having the same problem but let's jump straight into what fixed the the getting stuck on the loading screen problem for me and after I will mention what I tried and didn't work before but it actually worked for other people so what you will have to do first is making sure that you have the latest Nvidia graphic drivers installed when that is done when you launch Modern Warfare Remastered you will get a message saying populating shader cache you will need to let this finish its job so don't cancel it it's going to take a while but you need this the next Next thing is navigating to your private match and then you know going into game setup maps and then click on the first map so what you have to do is load every single map that you see here uh, in private match so you click on ambush back out and then you press start game once you loaded every single map in private match you can go ahead and search for a multiplayer match and you should be able to load every single multiplayer map from now on so again just to mention you will need to do this with every single map in private match once the maps are loaded or once this map is loaded wait the countdown time and then when you know when the map actually started then just run around on the map for like 15 to 20 seconds and then back out of the game and then load the next map do the same again and then load the next map until you finish loading all the maps this will take a while it actually took me half an hour or so but it's actually worth it because it actually fixed the getting stuck on the loading screen problem but now this is the only thing that fixed the stuck on the loading screen issue for me me however I also tried other things that didn't work for me but it actually worked for other people such as port forwarding which is actually in your Windows firewall but you can google how it actually works because it's gonna be pretty long if I explain it here the ports that you need to forward however are 3070 and 3080 but I will have this in the description the other thing that I tried is restarting slash resetting my router reinstalling the game and changing my NAT type to open and strict with that said however your NAT or net type should always be open which you can set from your router settings moving towards the second issue which is the FPS drops and stuttering uh, press space actually on your keyboard navigate to graphics and advanced video now here first what you need to do is actually you know scroll down all the way to fill remaining memory and if you have this turned on make sure to actually turn this off and when you've done that actually restart the game and then come back right here because there are some more options that you need to set so what you need to do after you actually turned off fill remaining memory is actually uh, going to your native render resolution and you should set this to on and the next thing is basically you can you can actually I'm gonna go through all these settings and you can copy this if you want you can pause the video and set these settings but the main things that you need to do is your native render resolution you should have this on the next thing you go down all the way down to your shadows and actually you can leave your shadows on however if you do leave your shadows on make sure that your shadow map resolution is actually set to normal however if you still are experiencing FPS drops make sure to actually disable all your shadows I have it on so the next thing should be your cache sun shadow maps 
cache spot shadow maps and go all the way down to depth prepass. All these three options you should turn it off. You should not have either of these options on because this will actually help you improve your FPS and help with stuttering. The last thing that you will need to do is actually your post process anti-aliasing, I can't talk. You should set this to FXAA. If you set it higher, it's gonna be like eating your FPS up and your game will stutter so much. But this was actually all the things that I did to fix my, you know, uh, FPS problems. But of course, after you set every single setting in this advanced video tab, then you will need to restart your game again. So hopefully this will fix it. If it doesn't fix it for you, make sure to actually lower, you know, your other settings. So if you have something on extra, make sure to actually lower it to high. If you have something on high and still experiencing FPS drops, make sure to lower it to medium. But this was today's video tutorial, hope I could help you guys, but either way, make sure to share this video since if none of these fixes work for you, which I may add they should, then it may work for other people like your friends. But thank you so much for watching again, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Get fucked! Oh my god, holy shit, I'm sorry, but get fucking destroyed. Hey guys, what's going on?